Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the In Group in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm going to do an unboxing for the Ozzy Osbourne box set that was exclusive to his website. Everyone is autographed, and there's some never before released titles in this as well. I know Ozzy himself did uh, an unboxing of this, which was probably a lot cooler than what I'm going to do, but I'm going to take you a little deeper into it. Very well packed, many inserts. This sucker is heavy. I want to say this is like a 30 pound box. I mean, it is massive. It comes with its own, own giant resealable sleeve. So you can actually keep it on your shelf and yeah, keep it dust free on your shelf. Like I say, this sucker is not easy to move around. So that's the front. There is actually a little flexi on the cover. Looks like it's got a little tack of glue there. I take that off and listen to it. The flexi disc is an unreleased demo of See You on the Other Side. This is kind of a breakdown of what's inside of the box. But let's check it out. So, so this is a couple tacks of glue here, which, yeah, they'll come off fairly easy, but that's how they uh, seal it. It's really the only thing that prevents it from being tampered with. Ah, from the front. Very cool. This is number 3,971. Has a little autograph. Certificate that slid around in there. That Aussie sign there. And it's actually not a bad Aussie signature. You typically don't get the full name. You know, I've seen his signature quite a few times, and it's kind of uh, Ozzy, maybe. But, you know, not a bad signature. The box looks really, really solid. I mean, it's well done. This thing is 500 bucks, so it's... It's... Uh, so far, presentation-wise, it's really solid. But let's check out the vinyl. They are multicolored. Very cool, very wicked looking. This is red and uh, red and white splatter. Now there's supposed to be posters in this, I believe. They're not sealed, there's no inserts in it, this particular one. This sat right underneath it. This is the Blizzard of Oz poster. Very cool, kind of uh, just rests underneath the first album. Live version of Mr. Crowley and some previously unreleased stuff. This is a white and black splatter wax. I mean, presentation wise, it's actually really impressive so far. I mean, that little hinge lid, it's nice in its foam line. The very fact that he went through the trouble of signing it. Very cool. Doesn't look like another money grab like so many of these box sets are. Diary of a Madman. You know, I reviewed the... I didn't review it, but I did an unboxing of the Jimmy Page Yardbirds. And that cost more money than this. It was one album. 
it was signed on the back <laughs> and it cost more. This is much cooler. Enough posters in here, you can wallpaper your house. Think of the money you'll be saving. The divorce might cost extra, but bark at the moon. Oh, wicked. Yellow and black. I really dig that. Sideways poster. Blank backs on all these. Ah, uh, yes, Ozzy's masterpiece. The album that he loves the most. I'm just kidding, he doesn't actually really care for this album too much, and uh, most other people don't as well. The Ultimate Sin. Although it looks cool. Yellow and red. They're really working the color variants here. Ultimate Sin poster. Check this out, actually. This came in in a collection. Let's see if I have it close by. From the Ultimate Sin tour. Ozzy Osbourne with special guest Metallica. Special date just added, June 15th, three days. Metallica and Ozzy. This was, uh, I got a copy of Ultimate Sin, Nice in the Shrinky, and this was uh, right on the inside. Tribute. Nice gatefold. Black and clear. You know the art is pretty nice on these. They don't just look like scans. for the wicked. All right. Gray and red. I'm actually doing this unboxing for a friend of mine. I asked him if I could borrow his. And I kind of used him as a guinea pig to see what kind of quality this was. But uh, after I shoot this video, I'm actually going to go and buy it. <laughs> this is really cool. I did the same thing with the Jimmy Page box set. That wasn't mine. And unfortunately, uh, I didn't... Uh, for, fortunately for me, I wasn't the guinea pig on, you know, on that one. Somebody else was because that uh, was definitely not worth 600 pounds or 550 pounds. So after seeing that, I was able to say, well, all right, I'll take a hard pass. Now 
of this is an insanely difficult album to get on bottle. Costs you about half the price of this box set is worth. And the fidelity on the original is not that great because they essentially took a CD's worth of music and stuffed it onto one record. And how do you do that? Well, you lop off the low end. But this looks cool also was done the right way. They spread this out on two albums. So I'm gonna be looking forward to listening to this. I'm thinking that this is gonna have significantly higher fidelity than the original. Poster on that one. getting into the cool stuff. This is the stuff that doesn't really exist on vinyl, or if it does, it is not easy to get. Triple disc, orange and red color motif on this. To see where these were made. Made in the EU. Not sure of the pressing plant. Osmosis. to the red and the black. I think we've had a red and the black already. I think we've run out of color combinations. I hallucinated that though. I think so far I've liked the, uh, the yellow and the black the best. Down to Earth. Oh, that's really cool. Blue and clear. Down to Earth poster. sides. That's a cool color. Budokan. Oh, that's actually cool. White and black. That's a good looking variant there. I'm surprised for as heavy as this is. I mean, this is really well made because this there's not a ding or, I mean, these are in solid shape. These are really nice. You know, it looks like they were just rolled off the presses. All right, that might be the coolest one. It's up there. 
plaque for it. It's very cool. Posters are a nice touch, and the last one, Scream. I mean, if you do the cost average on this, it's actually a pretty affordable box. I mean, you're really paying what you would pay for the price of the vinyl if you were to buy albums singly, and you're getting a certificate that's autographed, and you're getting a nice box. Typically with box sets, it's the other way around. You overpay to have the Lux packaging, you know, with the Beatles box. It was $150 more to get the book. This, you're really getting it for about the price of what you're going to be paying for these records if they do and when they do release them singly. So it's actually, uh, I'm impressed. I hope we get to see more stuff like this to where the artists actually take you know, take a hand in putting out a cool vinyl product. And there it is. That is the Aussie box set. All right, I'm Mike. Don't forget to subscribe, like, page, and until next time.